The siege of the city of Missolonghi during the Greek War of Independence was a crucial moment in the struggle for Greek autonomy, characterized by resilience, bravery, and profound tragedy. The Greek Revolution, which began in 1821, erupted as a response to centuries of Ottoman rule and oppression. Greek revolutionaries inspired by Enlightenment ideals and fueled by a desire for freedom and national identity, launched a fierce campaign against Ottoman forces. Missolonghi, a town located in western Greece, became a target for Ottoman forces, who were seeking to stop the rebellion. Missolonghi, with its fortified walls and strategic position, was seen as a crucial stronghold in the Greek resistance against the Ottomans. Therefore, Ottoman forces repeatedly attempted to capture the town. The first siege of Missolonghi started on October 25, 1822. The Ottomans, led by Omer Vrioni and Reshid Mehmed Pasha, alongside part of their fleet, besieged the town. 11,000 Ottoman troops arrived at Missolonghi, while behind the walls, just 600 men with 14 guns stood ready to defend the town. Among the defenders was Marcos Botseris, a courageous Greek military leader, who played a significant role in the war against the Ottoman Empire. The Greeks knew that the food and ammunition would only last for a month, and at the time, the Ottomans could easily attack and take the city. However, they preferred negotiating with the Greeks to keep the town intact for their army. The Greeks took advantage of this decision and kept negotiating with the Turks until help from the south would arrive. Finally, in November, the Greek fleet reached Missolonghi and targeted the Ottoman ships. More than a thousand soldiers arrived, bringing food and resources. The besieged Greeks immediately ended the negotiations with the Ottomans, who upon realizing their mistake, continued the attacks. After a month of bombardment, the Ottomans decided it was time for a major attack. The assault was set for the night of December 24th on Christmas Eve to catch the Greeks by surprise. However, the Greeks were already warned by Omer Vrioni's secretary, a man of Greek origin. So the Greeks were ready for the attack and the Ottomans lost their advantage. Due to the readiness and bravery of the Greeks, the Ottomans were eventually defeated and the siege was lifted on December 31st. In 1823, Mustafa Pasha tried a second siege, but it failed because of a lack of food, illness, and low morale among his soldiers. However, this event is often ignored, with many referring to the third and final siege as the Second Siege of Missolonghi. Missolonghi stayed a Greek town for the following years. Upon the arrival of British poet and Philoline, Lord Byron, in January 1824, the resistance gained international recognition. Lord Byron was a major contributor to the Missolonghi defense effort. He helped to organize the town's defenses and provided resources and money to support the Greek cause. His presence galvanized the defenders and brought the Greek cause international attention. He remained at Missolonghi until April 1824, when he died of illness. On April 15, 1825, the third and final siege of Missolonghi started. It involved a wide range of defenders coming together to keep the Ottoman forces away from the town. Greek troops and civilians were among them, along with volunteers from other European countries who were inspired by the Greeks. Arriving with a bigger force of 20,000 men, Rashid Mehmed Pasha attempted to siege the town once again. Despite the challenges they faced, the 10,000 people of Missolonghi organized a heroic defense against the Ottoman forces. With only 4,000 men, they resisted several attacks and inflicted significant casualties on the Ottomans, demonstrating their resilience and determination to fight. The Ottoman attempt to starve the city into surrender failed, as Greek Admiral Andreas Miaoulis was able to bring in supplies at the time. But with food supplies running low and sickness spreading among the populace, things in Missolonghi seemed to be getting worse. As Ottoman soldiers intensified their attacks on Missolonghi's defenses in the early months of 1826, the town found itself up against overwhelming odds. The Egyptian commander Ibrahim Pasha and his army, who had brought numerous cannons and artillery shells with them, also joined the Ottoman military commander. Beginning on February 24, 1826, the Egyptians mercilessly began bombarding the city. After a year-long siege and with little food left in the city, the Greeks had to come up with a plan. They made the decision that some of the men would charge the gates, trying to get the women and children out of the city safely, while the others would stay behind and fight to the death to protect the town. The plan called for the besieged Greeks to escape while the Ottomans were distracted by a surprise attack that would be orchestrated by the renowned Greek military leader 
Georgios Karaiskakis on April 10, 1826. The exodus would be divided into three groups, with Notis Botsaris heading in the center, Kitsos Tsavelas leading the group on the left, and Dimitrios Makris leading the women and children on the right. Old people and those who were dying or were too sick to move remained in houses full of gunpowder so they would blow themselves up when the Ottomans arrived. However, when the time came on April 10th, Karaiskakis and his troops never came, but the Greeks heard gunfire coming from the hills and assumed it was them. Then, around a thousand soldiers run out, followed by women and children. As soon as they charged out of the city gates, Turks and Egyptians started firing at them. The Ottoman forces knew about the Greek plan and they were already waiting for them from defensive positions. Many of the Greeks panicked and run back inside the walls for cover, but it was pointless as the Ottoman Egyptian forces had already entered the city. Despite their heroic attempts, the Greeks were unable to withstand the Ottoman attack's pure force. Following Missolonghi's fall, hundreds were brutally massacred, and many women and children were taken prisoner and sold into slavery. As word about Missolonghi spread around Europe, Anger and support for the Greek cause increased. Lord Byron and other Philolenes had already brought the suffering of the Greek people to the attention of the world, and the collapse of Missolonghi further fueled Philhellenic sentiment. As a result of the Missolonghi massacre, more people came out in favor of Greek independence, with many supportive European nations giving material and financial help. The legacy of the fall of Missolonghi remains a powerful symbol of the Greek's strong commitment to liberty and autonomy. It served as a catalyst for the eventual success of the Greek War of Independence that ended in the formation of an independent Greek state. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to discover more thrilling stories from the past.